think we've learned from not just previous tau studies, but other antibody studies. So we're in a bit of a renaissance in neurodegeneration. Uh, there, the recent accelerated approval of anti-amyloid drugs has shown us that you can have an impact on the course of Alzheimer's disease with an antibody therapeutic, something that's delivered intravenously, which uh, I think the field wasn't sure about for a long time. Uh, the fact that we're able to see an effect on the course of disease is, is incredibly promising. Uh, that's for a different target, but it, it does give us an indication that, that it's possible to achieve that kind of effect with an antibody drug. So for tau, the studies that have been done previously in the clinic uh, that you mentioned um, are studies that uh, on antibodies that target a different part of tau, um, and they don't necessarily target pathological forms of tau. And uh, we started with immunizations uh, with pathological material in a way to let the biology guide us to identify those sorts of antibodies that bind pathological material. Um, We've done a, a host of screening to identify those that met the right criteria. And what we think uh, there's the opportunity is if you if you can hit the right epitope of tau and getting enough antibody into the brain, which the, the recent amyloid studies suggest is possible, um, that tau could be an excellent target. That's also related to the the biomarker studies that have been done that indicate that that tau progression is the that biomarker right now that is most closely correlated with the disease. And so I think there's a lot of evidence accumulating that tau is a primary driver of the neurodegeneration seen in Alzheimer's disease, um, and that there are ways to track this clinically, uh, and that targeting tau has a huge opportunity.